Hello, hello everyone. This is Paulette Burnside here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And today what I'm going to show you is how to enter a trade using the MetaTrader 4. And this video is specifically for iPhone users, all right? Um, if you want, if you have an Android phone, you can definitely refer to my Android video, which has been out for a while. I know a lot of you guys um, have been asking, when is an iPhone video coming out? So here it is, and I'm making it just for you guys. So at any rate, what I want you to do is definitely um, like my pages on Facebook at I am Paulette Burnside and at Let's Learn 4X Together. And also leave a comment right down below this video and let me know whether or not you found it useful. Um, definitely, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel. Um, also, um, guys, leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see next. What's the next thing you want to learn? And I will do a short video for you, all right? So here we are. Let's go ahead and take this away. So um, right here, right here I have up the Swipe Trades app, all right? And notice on the Swipe Trades app, um, you can do a couple of things. You can um, notice right here there is a piece of paper, all right? This piece of paper is where you do your copy, all right? Your copy and paste. Okay, now um, for this particular trade, it is Euro USD. Um, it's based on the H1, that means the hour chart. Okay, it is a sell limit. This is our entry price. Notice right here it says entry price one, it says stop loss, and it also says take profit one, two, and three. So we have three take profits with this particular order. All right, but for the sake of this example, we're going to use take profit one. All right, so what's important to us is the entry price. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap on that. And notice when you tap on the piece of paper right there, it comes up data successfully copied. I'm going to click OK. Now, once I click OK, what I'm going to do is hit the home button on my iPhone. I'm going to go to MetaTrader 4. And I am going to look for EURUSD on the list. And notice it's the first one on the list. I'm going to tap on that and it brings up a, a menu at the bottom and you're going to click on trade all right now we get to the trade window within metatrader 4 now at the top of this window it tells you this is euro usd all right and this i just means that's just an abbreviation from the broker no you can just disregard that okay now it says market execution that is um, a selection from a menu. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually tap on that. Because remember, our order type, just like it says here, it says sell limit. All right. And so we're going to look on this list for sell limit. Notice, though, next to market execution, there is a blue check mark. Now you're going to click on, but this said it's a sell limit. All right. So now go ahead, click on sell limit. Okay, now you've clicked on sell limit. And right here, this says sell limit. You want to always verify this is exactly what the trade says, the swipe trade says, sell limit. Okay, now this is your risk line. All right, this is your risk number. Um, and notice this is set to a 0 0.02 right now. You can actually change this. Um, you can increase this number right here by just hitting this plus sign. All right that plus zero one or minus zero one. So I'm going to hit the plus zero one so you can see the number change. All right, see the number changing right there? All right, I'm just tapping on the plus zero one. You're going to tap on that on your phone. Now notice the number in the, change in the middle changed to 0 .08. I don't want to do a lot size that small. I'm going to stay with something a little less. I'm going to use 0 .02. And all I did was hit the minus sign on this side to in decrease it. Notice that changed to 0 0.01, but I want to make it 0 0.02, so I'm going to increase that back to 0 0.02. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. This is the price field, stop loss field, take profit field. All right. 
Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to enter the price. We're going to use the copy and paste function um, for the price field, okay? Just so I can show everyone how to do a copy and paste. So now I'm going to tap on this field. And notice any time you get ready to enter in a number in either of these fields, it's always going to ask you for a price, all right? It's always going to put a number in that field. Sorry about that. What we're going to do is we're going to tap on it. And it's going to bring up the function paste. You're going to tap on paste. Now it pastes the number that you took from over here. All right. Now, all you're going to do if you want to go back to that um, screen and copy and paste this stop loss, you will do the same exact thing. But for the sake of this example, what I'm going to do is I wrote down the numbers or either we have this reference right here. All right. What I recommend doing if you're not um, tech savvy, or used to really navigating your cell phone, it is A-OK -okay to write the numbers down, all right? You're going to write down your the currency pair. You're going to write down sell limit, right? You're going to write down the price and your stop loss and all of your take profits, all right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to enter in the stop loss number. Notice I tapped on it. And it's actually data filling the number again. And I'm going to backspace it off until I get the, and then now I'm going to enter the number that I want to have there in the stop loss. All right, that's this number right here. Okay, that's the number we're looking for, this one right here. All right, that's the stop loss. We're going to go ahead and type that in, and that is 1.16554. All right, okay, so now you're going to go down to where it says take profit okay take profit and we're going to tap on that field and we're going to backspace this off all right now we're going to type in take profit one all right we're going to type in take profit one six let's see what does take profit one says it says one dot one six zero 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 okay now you have typed in the take profit now what you're going to do is you're going to go down and the place button should be in blue all right should be in blue and notice right here uh, we have not gotten to this number yet all right our number is one six three hundred and so that's good we have not missed this trade yet so we're going to go ahead and hit place wow all right so congratulations you have success, successfully put in your first trade, all right? Now, look right here. This is a pending order, all right? This is a pending order because this number isn't like, it's not flashing red or blue yet, all right? So this is how you know it's a pending order. Whenever this number right here gets to this number, okay, it's going to automatically, um, the trade will automatically become active. All right, and so right now, this is what they call a pending order, all right? And so hopefully this video helped you a lot. Now you know how to put in a trade on your iPhone, all right? Now, if you are a person that wants to find out how you can get this app, what I want you to do is send me a um, message on Facebook or either... Um, on either one of my Facebook pages, all right? Send me a message on either one of those fa on either one of those pages, and what I will do is I will get back to you within a couple of hours. But guys, with that being said, hopefully this video has helped you. Now you know how to enter a trade on the iPhone app, all right? The iPhone Meta Trader 4, or you might hear some people refer to it as M. T4, all right? That stands for MetaTrader 4, all right? So with that being said, have a great day. Um, remember to subscribe to, um, to my channel. Um, also, like my page, pages on Facebook, and stay tuned. I will be having some more videos coming up um, as well. So with that being said, have a great, um, have a great, great um, day. And happy trading. Hope you are in profits. Bye for now.